Uh, in this example, we're going to do a project or a case study related to time study. And this project is extremely important if you're going to work as a production supervisor in the future. It would help you to make up a decision comparing scenarios between whether to, to switch to automated system or to keep it as manual. Okay, depend on the amount of production. So let's start. We have a sequence of five steps. Five steps in sequence. And one step at we need to produce 100,000 units per quarter, per three months. And it's been produced for a quite a while. The fact this has been written for quite a while, so we know what to expect as amount of production, what we're able to produce. So we're gonna consider this as our demand, okay? And we need to satisfy this demand in this period of time. The standard time for each of the production line is given on the chart which will facilitate obtaining the standard time for a finished unit. To start with, here we have 250 units okay, per hour or for, uh, 4 hours per 1000 units. Uh, the same here, 1000 units per hour or 1 hour per 1000 units, 50 units per hour or 20 hours to do 1000 units. So numerator denominator are exactly the same. The second alternative, if you attempt to automate the production line by installing machine replacing the manual laboring, a machine costs 10,000 and lowers the time standard or the standard time by 20% in each step of the production line, and only one labor would be required in each step of the production. Therefore, they're asking us or they're informing us there is a possibility to switch this from manual to automated. And the fact we could replace the manual laboring by an automated machine but there is only one condition that we still need one labor to operate this machine. Only exactly one single labor, one individual labor to operate this machine. We have to bear in mind the following. We have $10 per hour as a labor cost. The study has to be performed for the following months of November, December, January. And the plant are in operation on weekdays, Monday to Friday, 9 to 5. And we have two tea breaks of 15 minutes each and 30 minutes and if each system is automated, the operator is on a break, the machine will be in operation. Let's, let's, the question is here, would we automate the system, yes or no? So the fact we need to do a break-even analysis, break-even analysis, what So we need to assess the system, like is it worse financially to switch to automated or we keep it as it is? And we need to consider a, 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 a an interval of time. We can't do the study if we don't know the, the time length over which we're doing our uh, study. If the study is over five years, over one year, over three months, and we're going to calculate the break-even analysis and how much time needed to break even. For example, if our study is over three months, but we need two years to break even, okay, so there's no point in automating the system. Okay, to start with, find the number of working days with the next three months. Next three months, so all what you do is consider a calendar, November, December, and January. Okay, and we count the number of working days. So we exclude weekend, and it says here Lebanese public holiday. So we exclude weekend because the public holidays in Lebanon, they are different than in other countries. So we have to abide by where we live. Okay, not where we have to abide by to where we believe, where we be, where we live. Sorry, and so we we exclude the public holidays, the day of the week, and all the days that we don't come to work, and we have so we count the remaining days. So here we need the remaining working days. So a three quarter is not 90 days, it's almost like 60 days. After accomplishing this, we know how much to, to produce per, per, per day. And then the second step is to remove the unavailable time per day, removing the breaks, two breaks, and removing the lunch break, and removing the cleaning time. We remove all the unavailable time devoted for breaks and cleaning if it, is, if it happens between 9 and 5. If it happens after 5 or before 9, we don't remove them as... They don't affect the working hours. So uh, after knowing how much we have to produce per day, 100,000 divided by remaining working days, we're going to find how much to produce per the amount remaining time per day. Okay. Uh, so this is how much we produce per the amounting time per day. As seen in the figure above, the five steps of the production line are independent. So those steps are ex extremely independent. Therefore, if one operator is allocated to step one, 
okay even if he finish even if he's idle he is devoted to step one he's not allowed to help other people okay we need to find the operator efficiency in each step how much is busy how much he is idle like here is like percentage busy percentage idle idle يعني قاعد ما عم بيعمل شيء and after finding the total number of operator we need to calculate the total labor cost per quarter okay how much labor cost per quarter we're paying after doing those two steps okay we need now we know how many labors we have in each step we know efficiency of every step we know the cost of all the labors after doing all this when we search automated line and investing in a new machine that, uh, that as we said before that each step of the production line is independent of the subsequent step therefore if the machine has been allocated this step it will not be used for other steps same as well we consider it like if a labor is uh, design if a labor being set allocated to a machine if the labor is on a break or unavailable the machine is unavailable as well so the question is here how many machine to buy which step of the system to automate okay how many labor to number of labors we should have in the system like when it is manual how many labors when it is automated how many labors and the saving would be because we're producing the same amount of unit which is 100,000 per quarter so the saving would be only in the number of labor when we reduce the number of labor from for example 10 to 5 the saving in the wages of the labor on the long run this is will be paid towards the cost of the price of the machines okay uh, بمعنى, if the machine is 100,000 and we're saving $10,000 per month, so we need 10 months to break even حتى in order to pay back for the machine. Again, so we need to calculate. We have a dilemma here. Where there's two scenarios. Either we stayed as uh, manual or we, we switched to automated. So the question is, would we switch? Yes or no? Which step of the system we switch it to automated? And in case we switch it to automated, we must have as a rule in the case of study to keep one operator to operate this machine. Another rule, all the machines are independent. So one machine is devoted for a step. We can't do other jobs related to other steps on this single machine as well as for, same for the labor like if I am a labor and at a step and I'm done with my work I will be remain idle for the rest of the day but I'm not allowed to help other people another condition we, we consider that if the labor is on a break the labor in charge of operating the machine the machine will stop okay so the question is you need to find the return on investment how much as a break even return on investment مثل اسمه هي return on investment numerator هو return over investment يعني انا return داعم وفر قد ايه حطيت برجع بعد لكم انه انا مثلا as a general example الالي حقق 100000 as a machine and i am i save 10000 dollars by reduction through the reduction of labors so the return is 10000 i divide it by over the investment of 100000 so the return on investment is 0.1 which is equal to 10 months يعني كل شهر انا بوفر 0. بوفر 10000 so i need 10 months 0.1 divided by 1 is equal or 1 divided by 0.1 equal 10 months so this is what you have to do to calculate the break even analysis which how many months to break even and the return on investment how much i'm saving per month okay thank you